Okay, I guess I'm ready to do another video recording. I haven't want, done one in a while. And I just thought I'd like to document this because today I got a new build going. I bought this air compressor at an auction and I'm already tearing off the fuel tank. Took the top shroud off and I got it on this stand here so made a little uh, like a furniture movers dolly out of some casters that laying around and some scrap 2 by 4 so I did that and skidded this heavy sucker off the little pallet that was on and onto this and rolled it over into the shop took the top shroud off in the gas tank Drain that in the little pan. Um, so I guess that compressor pump is going to be for sale. This engine here doesn't look so very, very nice, but it's actually the best running motor I've got on the place right now. Even though Little Red's engine was overhauled just uh, two years ago, this one still runs better. I don't know how. I thought first when I got it, it had a bad connecting rod because I had a pry bar in the in the fins here in the flywheel there, and I couldn't move the sucker. Turns out it had a big old nest of something in the in the fan shroud. And that was jamming up the flywheel so bad, in fact, that I couldn't turn it. I could turn it forward and it would get stuck, like hard stuck. And then I'd turn it backwards and then it hit again. So I'm like, I guess I paid 50 bucks, 45 or 40, I'm not, I don't even remember, for, for parts, which would have been fine because... It's a Magnum, and all those parts should fit over on the K-Series, and it had the newer head, and it had a lot of stuff, a lot of newer stuff that I wanted, so it would have been fine, but turns out after I cleaned it, it ran like a top, so I don't have any use for an air compressor, because I got this little home-built one. It's a... An old tank, a military motor, a champion pump with a brand spanking new air filter on it. It's a Coleman. Coleman. Yeah, it's so yucky. Coleman power mate. I move that thing so often that there's oil all over it from from oil coming out of the pump vent. It's got a humongous vent on the back, so if you move it at all, it'll slop out of there and make a big mess. So, here's what I did. I I bought that pump and engine at an auction. I also, the same day, I paid $5 for for this 8-horse uh, Roper RT-8E, which stands for Roper Tractor. RT 8 horsepower electric start. As far as, as, far as I can tell, uh, I found a PDF on this tractor that learned some. Woo, ouch! This is a uh, chair filter supposed to be on that engine over there on the bench. That's not getting built very fast. I thought I'd shut the hood here. Oh, but I didn't mention before, the thing's been stretched. So, because I'm going to show you guys most of the parts that I changed. <laughs> the hood doesn't hit anymore, so. So come back, I think I back, I back. There's the tractor. And 
I got this thing not running. And over here on the hood, it says needs carburetor work. So it did need carb work. I actually rebuilt it. I'm going to show you over here in the bench right now. Here's the old carb. It's a really wacky vintage job. I rebuilt it and I think I'm going to sell it as is. I, I just hate to say this because I, sp I spent a time to rebuild this carb and now I ended up not liking it at all. So I'm going to open the hood here and point out get really close here it's a Kohler carburetor with a homemade adapter over to the 8 horse Briggs then I made an exhaust elbow see we're still right beside the carb coming down that's a Kohler exhaust elbow a pipe joint another exhaust elbow and a Kohler muffler this thing used to vent just right out the side here out of a ah, I don't even remember I'd almost say it was one of those flat mufflers but I think maybe it was a little round one yeah I think it was a little round one and this, this line here is gas this line here is methanol water injection here's my solenoid and then this loops around here comes over over here into this tank on the other side just above the clutch and this is the explosion shield in case the flywheel blows Let's attach the frame with two nine five sixteen bolt I decked the head to give it a lot more compression relap the valves uh, made this carburetor set up, this, this exhaust set up, this throttle set up, it's just a piece of black pipe, comes up around and over, like so, just so missing the fuel line, I put a bigger pulley on it, uh, three and a half to a five, so when I added these side steps, out of some old horseshoes, this is my stick shift. I also made that. And the fuel tank was under the seat. Here's where one corner went in. Sorry about the light. Sat in here sideways you can see the pocket there's a pocket there's a pocket then the filler cap was right here